Okay, so I don't know if this is going to help anybody, but I decided to do it anyway. My Epson printer universal driver decided to lose connection to this printer. I've actually updated it so I don't say offline anymore. Uh, what's happened is I updated something on the network, and what that was doing was giving all the IP addresses to all the devices on the network. So, and because I updated that, then all the IP addresses are uh, completely updated. So, and that means the computer can't find it anymore. So what you want to do is to update the IP address for your Epson. You want to find out what printer, what your IP address is for on your, what IP address your printer is. And I'll be doing a quick video at the end of this video to show you how to do that for my printer, but I recommend looking at some instructions to do that. Then you want to go to this window. So to do, open this up, you want to just go to window search and type in printer and click on the top one here and then click on the driver, what this one, and then go to manage, and then go to uh, printer properties, and then go to ports, and then the one what's selected you want to change, so it's already selected, so you just want to hit configure port, and then update the IP address, and that is it. So, at the end, uh, so like I said, I'll be, uh, well, passing over to myself in a second uh, to show you how to find your IP address for your uh, printer, for, well, for my printer. So I'll see you shortly, bye. Okay, so I decided to dub this because it didn't sound that great. So to get your network settings, what you want to do is, can you see that icon right at the top, right there, and just click on it, and you'll see your IP address there, where it says IP address, and you'll just want to make note of that, 192.168.0. whatever. And that is it. So I hope you found this useful. Subscribe, rate and comment and I'll see you again in the future. Bye.